Winter hiking up here in the Pacific Northwest means oftentimes hiking in the rain and snow. With the right gear though, hiking during the winter months can be a lot of fun. The mountains and rivers are beautiful when they're covered in snow and the trails are a whole lot quieter than they are during the summer months. Hey guys, my name is Kathleen, former PCT through hiker, avid Pacific Northwest day hiker, and the hungry hiker here on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to talk about my favorite winter hiking gear, focusing on what I like to wear while winter hiking and snowshoeing. I'll go over my favorite winter hiking clothing layer system, including upper body layers, lower body layers, footwear, and other layer must-haves during the winter months. I'll even share with you some of my most favorite tips on how to stay warm while out winter hiking. Full disclaimer, I'm a member of the Solomon Squad, which means I'm a proud Solomon brand ambassador. Some of my favorite winter hiking clothing I mentioned in this video has been gifted to me by Solomon, but I've also bought in a few pieces myself. Please know that whether a piece of gear or an article of clothing has been gifted to me or not, I only recommend gear and clothing I love and use on trail. Interested in learning about all of my favorite winter hiking gear for 2021, including all of the gear I bring for a winter hike? Check out my favorite winter hiking gear video. Visit the description below for a link to this video. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to get notified anytime I add new videos. With the right gear, every season is hiking season, which totally makes it possible to go hiking safely and comfortably year round up here in the Pacific Northwest. Weather can change rapidly in the mountains, especially during the winter. The goal for hiking during the winter months is to always stay as dry as possible by preventing yourself from getting sweaty. When starting a hike, be bold and start cold. That means not wearing all of your layers to start with, but have enough layers with you to add or remove clothing throughout your hike so you can stay warm and comfortable without overheating and getting sweaty. Getting sweaty means getting cold, which can lead to hyperthermia if you're not properly regulating your body temperature. Let's start with the upper body layers. Upper body layers include a base layer, mid layer, an insulation layer, and an outer layer. A base layer is the layer of clothing you'll wear closest to your skin. Try to keep this layer lightweight, moisture wicking, breathable, and something that dries sweat quickly. Choose something made of a synthetic material or lightweight to midweight wool. I like wearing my Solomon Agile SST because it's breathable tea made of a quick drying polyester that's soft, stretchy, and lightweight. It's made with an advanced skin active dry technology that helps wick away the sweat on my skin to the fabric of the shirt, helping me to stay dry and comfortable. A mid layer provides insulation between your base layer and outer layer. Your mid layer should be able to keep your body warm and still breathable to hike in. Materials for a mid layer could be synthetic or fleece, just no cotton. Cotton is rotten. Once cotton gets wet, like getting covered in sweat, it'll take a long time to dry. For my mid layer, I like wearing both my Patagonia R1 fleece and my Solomon Drifter vest. I like that my R1 fleece has long sleeves to cover my arms, is breathable enough to hike in, and is insulating enough to help keep me warm. For winter hiking, a vest is best for me because I tend to sweat no matter what the temperature is outside. I love that my vest is lightweight and helps keep my core warm and insulated. I also love how the vest provides some airflow and gives me more mobility with my arms not being covered. The insulation layer can be a thicker insulated jacket like a down puffy. This layer can be used on its own when you need a little extra insulation when stopping for a snack break or if you need more warmth on your body underneath your outer layer when coming down the mountain when heading back down towards the trailhead. When winter hiking, I carry two different types of jackets to use for my insulation layer. I like my Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisper Puffy because it's super lightweight, super warm and fits comfortably underneath my outer layer. I also love my Solomon Outrack insulated jacket for when I want to wear an insulating layer on its own without wearing an outer layer on top. Both are super warm and comfortable. The outer layer is a shell that helps keep the wind, rain, and snow out. This should be a waterproof layer like a rain jacket. This winter I've been rocking my Solomon Lightning waterproof rain jacket. It's lightweight and folds down next to nothing, yet the advanced dry skin technology with a 10K rating on both the waterproofness and breathability keep me super dry in the wettest of conditions without feeling like I'm stuffed in a garbage bag. Moving on to the lower body layers. Lower body layers include a base layer and an outer layer. Just like an upper body base layer, a lower body base layer is a layer of clothing you'll wear closest to your skin. You want to keep this layer lightweight, 
moisture wicking, breathable, and make sure it can dry, sweat, or rain quickly. Good materials to choose from for a base layer could be a light to midweight wool or synthetic fibers. For cold weather hiking, I love wearing a pair of thick tights or leggings like the Solomon Elevate Move On Tights. They're insulated, made from synthetic fibers, and the higher and wide waistband make for a comfortable and controlling fit. Pair these with a pair of tall waterproof gaiters like the Outdoor Research Crocodile Gaiters and my legs stayed warm and dry on most of my winter and snowshoe hikes. Just like with an upper body outer layer, the lower body outer layer is a shell that helps keep the wind, rain, and snow out. When it's raining or snowing out and I need a little extra protection on my legs from the elements, I like wearing my REI Telesphere rain pants. They're light, stretchy, waterproof, and breathable. Combine these with a pair of tall waterproof gaiters like the Outdoor Research Crocodile Gaiters and my legs are completely protected from rainfall and snow flurries, keeping them dry and warm throughout my hike. For winter hiking footwear, I have two different types of hiking boots. For when it's wet and muddy out on trail, I like to hike in my Solomon Women's Gore-Tex Baya hiking boots. Not only do I love the comfortable fit, roomy toe box, beefy bottoms, and sturdy ankle support, but they do an impeccable job of keeping my feet dry in the wettest of trail conditions. For my snowshoe hikes, I love wearing my Solomon Via Powder hiking boots. They're warm, insulated, do a great job of keeping the snow out, and are durable for winter conditions like snow and ice. Be sure to check out the link in the description below for the video where I give a full review of the Solomon Via Powder hiking boots and share why I love them for my snowshoe hikes so much. For winter hikes, I always pack out an extra pair of socks, just in case the socks I'm wearing get wet while hiking. I tend to go with a slightly thicker sock during the winter months than I do in the spring, summer, and fall, like the Darn Tough Micro Crew Cushion Socks. When hiking in the winter, not only is it important to have a solid winter clothing layer system, but it's also important to cover your skin when out in the cold weather. Here are some other layer must-haves for winter hiking. Wearing a beanie or hat that will help keep your head and ears warm. Use a buff to help cover your face to keep it warm. I also like to use my buff as a way to secure my hat when it's really windy out and in a pinch can be used as a mask out on trail. I also pack out a fleece neck gaiter just in case it's really cold outside and I want some extra warmth around my neck. I always pack two pairs of liner gloves with me. Liner gloves are a great way to warm up hands quickly when hiking on trail. I keep two pairs with me in case one of them gets wet. I also love the Solomon Bonatti waterproof mittens to wear over my liner gloves for when it's raining or snowing out so my liner gloves have a better chance of staying dry while out on trail. I like to carry a thicker pair of ski mittens with me on my winter hikes because my hands tend to get the coldest first. Sometimes the wind factor or snow can really make my hands cold out on trail. So it's nice to know I have a thick pair of mittens I can use to warm my hands up quickly with. I always carry a pair of sunglasses with me on my winter hikes, even if the sun isn't out. Sometimes the reflection from the snow is so bright it helps protect my eyes. Sunglasses are also nice to use when it's really windy out too. Here are some of my most favorite tips on how to stay warm while out winter hiking. Pack out a warm drink and a lightweight travel mug or thermos for your next winter hike. During the winter, I consider carrying hot cocoa with me as an 11th essential. Avoid sweating while out on a winter hike. One way to do this is to be bold and start cold. Pack all your layers, but don't wear them all at once as you're starting out your hike going uphill. If you're wearing your layers, remove them as soon as you start to sweat. Pack hand warmers and use them whenever you need help warming up your hands on trail. You can also stick a pair of hand warmers in your gloves or mittens for extra warmth. Not every winter hike will be blue skies and sunny, but if you want to stay as warm as possible, hike when the sun is out and take shorter breaks. The longer you stop for a break, the quicker your body will get cold and the harder it will be to warm it back up. Believe it or not, it's harder for me to eat on trail when it's cold outside. Ideally, you want to eat a snack at least once every hour to help fuel the furnace and stay warm. Choose easy snacks you can eat on the go. Keep snacks simple and to help prevent any unnecessary freezing, try to keep your snacks close to your body so your body heat will prevent them from freezing. Drink plenty of water during your winter hike. Opt for a Nalgene bottle instead of a water reservoir with a tube, just in case the tube freezes. Store your Nalgene bottle upside down, inside a side mesh pocket, or on the inside of your pack. Use a butt pad for whenever you stop for a break and your only option is to sit on the snow. The extra insulation between the snow and your butt pad will help keep you warm and dry. Enjoy this video and found it useful? 
hit the thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy trails and keep on trucking.